Hi, this video is from interview.com. I'm going to explain you one of the important interview question dependency. What is dependency injection? It's one of the important interview question for experienced developers or tech leads. <coughs> dependency injection is a software design pattern that allows removing hard coded dependencies and makes it possible to change them whether at runtime or compile time. The main intention for dependency, dependency injection design pattern is remove hard coded dependencies because we keep getting changes every day so our code should be in a portion uh, written in a portion that it should be you should not compiled often okay so we have to remove those hard coded thing from our business class this software design pattern injects the dependent element to the de destination automatically by knowing the requirement of the destination dependency injection please remember dependency injection so we are going to inject inject the dependence dependence let's see an example then you can understand so see i have written a very simple class called db connect here okay db connect here and it depends on these imports okay these are the imports it has currently what it does is very simple it creates a db url db connection url and gives to the get connection driver manager and gets the connection and using the connection we are going to retrieve the data or we are going to talk to the database that's what i have written a very simple class which is going to connect to a database okay then it's going to manipulate the database data so this is a simple class called db connect so what is the problem here now the now i could see the problem here is suddenly uh the, the the customer is telling we want to use postgres we want to use oracle we we want to use sql server so what happens what happens is you have to open this class you have to remove this import statements and you have to remove these url statement and few things you have to remove okay so there is a dependency there is a dependency in this class okay so dependency injection means we want to remove the main goal is to remove the dependency code from our business class okay so let's see how the dependency injected code looks like first of all we are going to remove this hard coded section from our business class then we have a private connection okay and we have a set db connection method and we don't need this at all okay we don't need this hard coded code so what we are going to do is using this connection this connection connect connection directly we are going to manipulate db okay this is what we are going to do, do. using this connection we are going to start manipulating with the db so we, our goal is remove the hard coded section from our business class this is my db connection this is my business class so SQL Server, Postgres, Oracle. So these dependency I'm going to remove from my code. This is the intention. So that's what I've written here. So business class should have only the manipulation talking to the database, but it should not have complete dependency code for database. Say for example, you can see dependency dependency injection framework. You what you have to tell is boss, I want Oracle database connection okay you can configure here using the xml file okay i want oracle database connection so dependency framework what it does is it calls the it calls the set db connection method and it pushes the db connection the appropriate db connection that you have asked for requested for in the con xml configuration file so so it's up to dependency injection framework to push the connection exactly so that we can remove all this hard coded section these sections we can remove we are relying on dependency framework to push the dependent objects to our business class so that means if you want oracle you can configure here after two months you want to change to postgres you have to change this xml file you don't have to touch this at all that means boss i was using oracle oracle database previously D, uh, dependency framework please can you change to postgres can you give me can you push the connection for for postgres in my business class so that only xml changes are there and business class you don't have to compile it at all you don't need to compile 
compile it again okay you don't need at all so that's what the dependency injection is really about that's uh, that's where the power uh, it has the power to push the dependent objects at runtime at compile time okay only the xml configuration file you have to change okay and everything will work so hope this uh, video is useful for your interview preparation if you're looking for a job opportunity within india kindly submit your resume using the following link we will do the needful to find out the right job based on your skill set hope this dependency injection concept is able you are able to understand the dependency injection concept all the best for your interview please go ahead and log on to interview.com and there are a lot of interview tips for your entry preparation this video is from interview.com thank you